We are going to start by weighing out our dry ingredients first. So we're gonna get our bowl and we're gonna set it on top of our scale, turn our scale on, and we are gonna weigh out 90 grams of regular old flour. At this point, you can throw this flour in the microwave for 30 second intervals until it reaches 160 degrees, just to make sure that you don't get any salmonella or anything like that. But the risk is so low that I am going to take this risk and we are going to move on to the next ingredient, which is Gorilla Mode Vanilla Protein. I used PE Science as well as this, and I found that Gorilla Mode tasted the best as my girlfriend did a blind taste test and also found it to be the same. If you don't already have this protein, you could use the links in my pinned comment below and use code E4CM for 10% off. They also have a bunch of other fitness related products that'll help you towards any of your fitness related goals. But if you have a vanilla protein that tastes good, you can use that one as well. We're gonna use whatever two scoops is for you. For me, this is 71 grams, but for like PE science, it's 62 grams. So it's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. Our last dry ingredient we need is salt and we're putting in 1.5 grams. At this point, we're gonna take a whisk and we're gonna mix this all together. Make sure everything is thoroughly incorporated so that when we do mix the wet ingredients in, everything blends very nicely and you get similar flavor profile throughout the entire recipe. Dry ingredients all done, we'll move on to our wet ingredients. So we'll take a separate bowl and we'll place that on a scale. Make sure you zero it out and we will start with light butter, only 50 calories per serving and tastes like the real damn thing. We're gonna go with 42 grams. It's going to be very hard to mix this into the wet ingredients if it's not melted. So we're gonna throw this into the microwave for 15 seconds. Once our butter is melted, we are going to add our eggs and I'm using regular old eggs. Now at like Whole Foods, you can get pasteurized eggs, which means they remove the salmonella. However, I am on my fifth dough recipe and probably, 100 to 150 tubs I have eaten and not had it happen to me, let alone in all of the years growing up where I would eat the cake batter or the cookie dough raw. If you wanna minimize your salmonella risk, you can purchase egg whites, which will not only be lower calories for the actual recipe, but they pasteurize the egg whites before they actually box them, so there's no risk at all. However, the eggs just add that overall I don't know, like flavor in your mouth that you could feel how smooth it is and how good it is. So I would use eggs myself, but I will leave that option up to you. And we're using two eggs. By the way, I will have the recipe in the description with all the ingredients and all the amounts that you need, including any substitutions that you may want to use. Next up is the key ingredient and what really makes this taste like birthday cake, which is cake batter extract. I use this in my birthday cake ice cream that I've made previously, and it works worked very, very well. And just a little bit of this goes a long way. So even if you have to order this off Amazon, which I will also have linked in my uh, description, it's like five or six dollars and you get five, 11 uses out of this. So it's like 50 cents per recipe. Well worth it in my opinion, and you could use it in several recipes that I have at this point. Five grams, 4.2 grams of vanilla extract. Then we get to our sweeteners, and first we have Swerve Granular. You can use Pure Cane too. I just always go with whatever is cheaper, 42 grams. Last but not least, we have our brown sugar sweetener, and this one I'm using Pure Cane. Again, you can use Swerve brown sugar as well, but this one was cheaper, 14 grams. I'll now thoroughly mix this until this is well combined. You can literally smell that cake batter just wafting just as I'm mixing it. Incredible. We're gonna grab our dry ingredients that we mixed earlier and we're gonna do this in parts. I usually do it in three to four parts. So we'll add a little bit at a time and we'll mix. This is actually the longest part of the recipe and you get a nice forearm workout by the end of this, I promise you. This is how we're looking after our first part. Definitely super thin, so we're gonna go ahead and add our second part in. You'll notice it's gotten significantly thicker, and this is the point where I have to switch from the whisk to the spatula because everything just gets stuck and it's way harder work. So we will switch and I will put this last part in. What I like to do for this one because it's so thick is I like to push everything up against the sides. This helps break up any like powders that are in clumps. And then I scrape the sides of the bowl 
and I probably do that five or six times until everything is incorporated. Once you have everything incorporated, we're gonna get this bowl on the scale one last time, and we are going to add our sprinkles because what is a birthday cake without sprinkles? I am just using eight grams here. A little sprinkles goes a long way, and this is only about an additional 40 grams, or should I say calories? And there's just something about sprinkles that give it that extra texture and taste. I don't know. We will fold these in and then we are all done. So we will go over the macros. I mean, look at this. Absolutely perfect. In a 38 gram serving from the birthday cake dough from the store, you get 160 calories, eight fat, 23 carb, and one gram of protein. In a 60 gram serving or about 50% more, in mine, you get 150 calories, less calories, five and a half fat, 12 net carb after you take out the swerve, because that's not any calories, and 11 grams of protein. Absolutely tremendous. Now, I've had people in the past say they can eat an entire tub in one sitting, which I can't do, I think it's too sweet, but if that's the case for you, half this recipe, and then you only have 500 calories and you could eat the whole thing for a meal, and not feel guilty about it. I have a cheesy gordita crunch coming very soon. I already made the protein pitas and the spicy ranch, a sheet pan pizza, and several other recipes that I have not unveiled yet on the way. So subscribe, like this video, and until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.